The three-headed rushing attack out of the shotgun bunch formation comes from two primary plays. We use the halfback counter and the halfback base. The halfback base is in our quick audibles, and we like to come out in the halfback counter uh, when we think we're in a situation where we want to look to run the football. So we come out in the halfback counter, and what we see at the snap of the ball is we just want to count the defenders. If it looks like a better look to run to the left, then we're going to run the halfback base. We're in our quick audible down. If it looks like it's a better option to go to the right, then we'll stay with the halfback counter. The motion is the same uh, for the halfback counter and the halfback base. What we like to do is we like to bring Cole Beasley across. If we're going to run the base, we're going to snap him right in the A-gap there uh, to kind of give us an option. We can go inside or we can go outside. And so we'll show you that. That was the outside kind of edge seal if we're looking to get. And that's kind of the big play thing. And like I said, you want to snap him kind of once he gets down uh, by Witten. I, prime, I typically snap him once he reaches the tackle. Uh, he normally will get really uh, decent options here. And, and get us up in the A gap, and there you see that's the primary, that's the bread and butter, that's that's where your money is made with this running play. Is it is a very effective run uh, when we're talking inside, uh, and we play it off when we can bounce it outside if they over pursue us. And with a running back like Demarco Murray, um, or even you know even like the Cowboys will have Darren McFadden, uh, this is a really effective running play. Someone that can run in between the tackles with someone who has the speed to get to the outside there. Uh, block shed uh, kind of negated us, but you see just kind of the concepts with this run. I mean, we're playing against a, a really heavy run defense, and, and this is kind of uh, what you're going to get. You're going to get really good yardage with this. I've had a lot of success with this running play. Now, in situations where you want to run the counter, it's something like this. If, if maybe the 3-4 bear was flipped, and what we're going to do in this situation is we're going to bring Beasley all the way over. We're going to snap him when he gets to the opposite tackle. See, there's a snap, and the counter's kind of the home run of, of everything that we use. I mean, this is, this is kind of the... This is kind of where you make your money. It's kind of a big hit play. Um, it's consistent too, uh, but it's, it is more of a, sh uh, of a risky play than the base, in my opinion. Uh, the base is pretty much good against any, any kind of defense. Counter is really only good when you have the numbers. Here we're going to show you we're going to run it without numbers, and we'll show you how it looks here. And we actually get a decent gain if we could have got through the hole, but you, you see that it's still got a lot of potential. Um, and so you can mix it up, and these are two really safe runs, in my opinion. Uh, haven't had a whole lot of stops and stops for loss. Uh, maybe stopped at the line every now and then, but you see, I mean, just a really effective running system we have here, uh, in which we can pick and choose. And then sometimes what I'll do to just change things up is, is I'll, you know, I'll bring Cole Beasley all the way across, and then I'll run the base right in behind that, and really seek to to kind of get it outside to hope that they're maybe overplaying the counter uh, or something like that. And then sometimes, you know, when I want to run the counter and give some deception, I'll snap it when he gets to that tackle and uh, you see we still get that same seal on that edge and uh, oftentimes this is it makes for big yardage uh, for the offense and so this is kind of the running system we've got in place here with the shotgun bunch um, there are several other formations that we like to run out of but this is my favorite by far um, not just for running the ball but for passing and just all around scheme I think out of the bunch is very difficult to beat um, you know I really really like this offense uh, and we'll use the screen game in combination with the running game, in combination with the play action game, and some of the other passing plays we use from the shotgun bunch. I really believe that this is a very difficult uh, offense to stop. Uh, like I said, the running game is is not always flawless, uh, but you can almost guarantee yourself uh, a yard or two uh, if you if you run it right in between the tackles, even on the counter. Um, you know, we had one play, and you may want to take advantage of Cole Beasley and, and, and give yourself some more of a seal uh, by snapping him in the A-gap. So you just you want to play with that a little bit. Personally, I think it's best if, to bring him outside and get you that edge. Um, if you're looking for a bigger play, get Cole Beasley out there. And uh, like I said, with a with a running back like Darren Mc, or with uh, Demarco Murray, uh, it, it really makes us a really really good running system in my opinion. Uh, like I said, you could snap uh, Beasley up the a gap if you're really trying to pound it up the middle. Uh, here we're having some trouble because and that's what I told you about with the numbers game, uh, with the way the numbers work in the three four bear. It's really designed to stop that counter run, and you see we are having a little bit of issue. But let me show you um, what that leaves open, just so just so we can just test this out. And you see that the base game is is much more consistent against the three four bear because of the way that it's a weighted formation. It has more players to the right of the line of scrimmage than to the left. But here we're going to show you what if they flip it, they try to take away your base game, then all of a sudden your counter game is wide open and uh, Cole Beasley holds that block. We're going for six. I mean like I said, this is just a it, I really enjoy this. I think you're going to get a lot of big plays out of it. Um, 
I think that it works really effectively um, when you get the blocking. Uh, when you get, you know, you guys hold their blocks and stuff, we are playing against Seattle and we are playing against a really heavy run defense in the 3-4 bear cover 2 invert, which you're not going to see a lot of because this is primarily a passing formation. So just keep that in mind. But even against the 3-4 bear, we've had several gains of, uh, of over 10 yards. And, and this is just a, a little flavor to go in go and mix it with your thing. And, and sometimes you get bad snaps like there. Sometimes you, sometimes you do get bad plays, but... But normally you get this this result, and that was against a, a standard three four bear run, and um, you know the the Seahawks are the best team in the league, and, and the best defense by far, and and so when you're able to get consistent gains against them in a in a pure a pure run defense, it really makes for a a great scheme in my opinion, especially when you consider that this is primarily a passing formation, and there you see it, there is the bread and butter getting us for six and and like I said I think that this is I think that this is very consistent I've played with, against many opponents with this offense I've had a lot of success with the running game a lot of big runs uh, like the last two that we saw a lot of big uh, big runs when they're expecting a pass so so that's kind of the idea with the running system from the uh, Man 16 uh, bunch offense we're using. So that's the runs right, left, and middle. Like I said, I use the base. Uh, I kind of use it as a read run. If I like to run it outside, I'll take it outside. But if I want to run it inside, I can bring Cole Beasley in here and really get up in between the tackles and uh, get those tough yards uh, with DeMarco Murray. I really, really enjoy this running system. Like I said, I think it's the best for your money. Um, you only have to use one audible, and uh, you're able to run left, right, and up the middle of the field. And if you use it smart and use it in the right time, uh, you're going to have a lot of success with this. I'm just telling you. Uh, it's very difficult to, to arm tackle DeMarco Murray. And uh, I really, really, really like this scheme. DeMarco Murray is my favorite player um, in the NFL, and, and I really like to use this offense with him. I think that it really shows his talent uh, as not only a pass receiver, but also as one of the best running backs in the NFL. And uh, you see it here. Uh, this power run is just really effective uh, against the defense. And, and then uh, the other part of it, too, the counter. Uh, when the defense is starting to kind of weigh more towards that base, then you hit them with the counter at the right time, and all of a sudden you're going for six. So that's the running system. and uh, we'll